Hi, today I am going to teach about scale of integration and why CMOS technology for VLSI design. First, what is an integrated circuit? IC means it is an integrated circuit. One or more number of transistors is two or more number of transistors are integrated on a single chip so then it is called as integrated circuit depends on the number of transistors they are categorized they are classified into different different scale of integrations that is small scale integrated circuit and medium scale integrated circuit, large scale integrated circuit, very large scale integrated circuit. For example, on a single ship, if you are integrated 10 to 100 or else 1 to 100, if you are integrated the transistors on a single chip, so then it is named as small scale integrated circuit technology. And if you are integrated more than 100, that is 100 to 1000 transistors, if you are integrated on a single chip, so then it is named as medium scale integrated circuit. And uh, medium scale integrated circuit examples uh, we can see here counters, mugs, adders, 4 bit microprocessors, etc. Coming to the LSI technology, large scale integrated circuit technology, if you are integrated 1000 to 10,000, 1000 transistors to 10,000 transistors are integrated on a single chip. So then it is named as large scale integrated circuit technology. Compared to MSI, it is big one. So here the examples are 8 bit microprocessor, ROM, read only memory, RAM, random access memory. Coming to the VLSA, very large scale integrated circuit. 10,000 to, if you are integrated, 10,000 to 1 million transistors on a single chip. 10,000 to, 10,000 to 1 million transistors are integrated on a single chip. Then it is named as very large scale integrated circuit. Finally, even if you are integrated two transistors or else more than 10 transistors, it is named as IC. So, but depends on the number, they are uh, categorized like small scale integrated circuit 10 to 100 if you are integrated. 100 to 1000 it is named as medium scale integrated circuit 10000 to 1000 to 10000 it is named as LSI large scale integrated circuit and 10000 to 1 million transistors if you are integrated that is named as very large scale integrated circuit this is an one example for IC technology this is a big big one so even if you take this IC, this is also one IC and this is one more IC, this is an one more IC. So like this, even if you are integrated 10 transistors also, they are, we can call it as, it is an IC. These are the IC techno, different IC technologies so we can see here. Bipolar technology means BJT, bipolar. Bipolar Junction Transistor Technology, CMOS Technology, Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor Device, by CMOS, Combination of Bipolar Technology and CMOS Technology. So these are the main technologies nowadays, by CMOS Technology or else CMOS Technology we are going to use to design any circuit. And why you are going for uh, ICT, CMOS and VLSI? So because 
the CMOS technology is having low power dissipation and the packing density is easy compared to bipolar technology. So the main advantage is the packing. You can easily pack on a IC designing while designing any chip. So it is easy to uh, pack compared to bipolar technology. So easy to scale down if you want to reduce the size of the transistors or the size of the chip or any IC if you want to uh, decrease the size. So it is very flexible compared to bipolar technology. And here uh, approximately the rise time and fall times are equal. And uh, we can one more advantage you can see this fully restored logic levels. So you can restore the logic levels easily. So that's the reason uh, we are uh, going for the CMOS technology to design any IC. So here you can see this uh, the power dissipation is moderate or high in bipolar technology PJT bipolar technology. But CMOS, it is very less compared, compared to bipolar technology. So here it is power consumption, power dissipation is very less in CMOS. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor device. Speed is also fast. Of course, almost both are fast. But gain margin, I can say this, it is 4 milliseconds. But here it is 0.4 milliseconds. And switching implementation is very good than bipolar technology. And uh, technology improvement, it is very speed, very fast uh, as per Moore law. So, but it is slower. Bipolar technology is slower than the CMOS technology. So, we, as you, we know that the bipolar technology is, uh, uh, it is a current control device, but uh, CMOS technology is a voltage control device. So, that's the reason it is having uh, more noise compared to MOS technology. So we can see this, uh, the bipolar technology is having emitter, base, collector or else it is a, if you take uh, the common emitter amplifier. If you take CMOS technology, it is a voltage control uh, device and it is having source gate drain terminals. And it is a voltage uh, control device. So these are the reasons uh, to design anything in VLSA technology. Uh, we are preferred mostly to design any chip, uh, even uh, to design mobiles or anything. So we are going to choose that is MOS technology, RLC MOS or by CMOS technology are, are used to design any chip in VLSA technology. So thank you.